guys, it's over here in the today's video of Shake. I have to make that amazing build up effect absolutely for free in the video. So, the only plugins you will have to have for this tutorial is the magic build looks and the stuff plugins. I will leave a link to the tutorial on how to download them absolutely for free. And we are so near to 500 subscribers, so if you guys could drop a like and a sub, I would appreciate it a lot. Other than that, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first step to make that amazing build up effect is to sync up the clip with the music. How we're gonna do that is go to your music and find the beat you want the clip to happen on. So for me it's right here. Just put down the marker by pressing M. Then you go over to the clip and mark the shot of impact. The shot of impact is the first frame. You can see a little bit of the numbers. So for me it's right here. Press M on your keyboard that will put down the marker. What you're gonna do now is press on the magnet tool up here. And it should be really easy for you to just slip it in so that all the free markers are in a straight line. What we're going to do now, we're going to just do a quick time mapping. We'll press on the clip, press Ctrl R. Then on shot from back to where the markers are, press on the arrow, add B point. Then you get 30 frames to the left, so 30 right here. Press on the arrow and add speed point. Then you can zoom in a bit and go about in the middle of these two speed points. You don't need to be exact, but press on the arrow and press add speed point. And now this first part we see right here, press on the arrow and change speed to 50%. And this second part we see right here, press on the arrow and change speed to 200%. Then you're gonna drag this middle speed point until you see that the last speed point is in a straight line with the free marker. So about like this, it don't need to be exact. But then we're gonna quickly just add a slow add the speed point anyway to the right and you make it to 50% and it should look something like this. Yeah, it looks really fine in my opinion. So we can just close out of the read and just by placing the X and we can start doing the effect. How we're gonna do the effect is go to shot of impact again, so where the marks are, and press Ctrl B. That will basically split the clip right there. What you're gonna do now is go 50 frames to the left. So 50, right here. Press Ctrl B again, that will split the clip again. And what you're gonna do now is the clip we just created in the middle, hold Alt and drag two layers above, so like this. So we have a layer in, in between them because we're gonna add an overlay later in the video there. Basically what you're gonna do now, you're gonna basically just quickly right click on it and press a new compile clip. Nothing should really change, but what we're gonna do now is go to press on it and go to Fusion tab. What you're gonna do inside of here is you're gonna press on the median one and press on the square. That will basically just make it rectangular like this. You can hold control and scroll out to see a bit more. And basically you're gonna go as much to the left you can, so the first frame. And basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna basically make it so it's a uh, thin, like a line, something like this. Make it really thin. And then you go to the specter right here and change the angle a bit to something like this. Probably will look good for this tutorial. And then you're gonna go to stay on the first frame. And keyframe the width, the height, the corner radius and the angle. And what you're gonna do now when you keyframe it, you're gonna go 35 frames to the right. So, 1, 2, 35, right here, key from the wide, the height, and the radius, and the uh, angle again, and just make it a bit thin, thicker, so something like this, it changed the angle a bit to the left. So, last time it was to the right, but now we're gonna make it a bit to the left, just a little bit. And when you key from it out, you're gonna go 10 frames more to the right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right here, key from everything again, so something like this. And make it even bigger, so something like this, and change the rotation even more, so something like this. Then you go to the last frame, keyframe everything again, and you can hold control and zoom out a bit, and basically make it so it fills out the whole screen, and change the angle a bit more, so something like this. And now we can go back to the edit tab, and if you disable the clip below by just pressing D on it, you should see something like this. Yeah, and that looks already really sick, but we're gonna make it even better right now. So go back to your Fusion tab, press on the median one, and press Control Space, and switch up S underscore Drop Shadow. Press Add, and if it doesn't pop up directly, just uh, do it many times and it will pop up. What you will do now, you're gonna make the Shift X to zero, and the Shift Y to zero too, so it basically is in the middle. Make the shadow up to see up a bit and make the shadow blur to something you think looks good. So something like this. So you can always adjust this after. So yeah, something like this I think will look good. And what you're gonna do now, you're gonna go down to the description 
And in the description, you should find the gold draft folder. Basically, in that gold draft folder, you should find the Magic Boot Looks preset. Basically, just download that preset. And now we'll show you guys how to import it into the Mature Soul. How to do that is go to your Windows search down here. Search up percentage local app dot da percentage. Make sure that you write everything with this right because then this folder should pop up. Just only press on the folder and find looks builder. Press on that, go to the looks. Inside of here you need to go to your custom. And basically from your downloads bit, just drag it and drop it inside of here. Or if you have any other folder, like I have a tutorial effects, then you can just drop it inside of here. As you see guys, I already have it inside of here. But basically when you've done that, you can just close out. And the best thing is you don't even need to restart that intro soul. But when you've done that, you need to go to the edit tab again. And inside of here, you need to go to open effects in the effect library and just search up looks. Basically, you drag it and drop it on the clip. Go to effects, press edit look. And inside of here, in your custom, you should find a new look called AP Border Tutorial V2. But I have imported it into my tutorial folder, but it should be in your custom. But this is basically how it looks. Double click on it and press on check mark and it will basically get applied and it looks really sick in my opinion. If you can't see it right away, make sure that you have no keyframes. If you have them, just take it away and if it still doesn't show, just drag the string to zero and to 100 again. And now if you undisable the clip, original clip down below, it should look something like this. Really cool. But it's not done yet, we're gonna make it even cool now. Basically go to open effects again and search up S underscore 3 three times. Drag it and drop it on the original clip, go to FX and what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to fast when you see this in black and white, key from the mix with source and drag it all the way to 100 so it's it's in black and white. Then you go to the middle of the clip, about, you don't need to be exact, and go five frames to the right, so one, two, three, four, five, key from it and drag it all the way to zero and it will basically fade the inward and become... What you're gonna do now, you're gonna go to the same old right folder as you don't let the magic bullet looks preset, you're gonna find an overlay, basically just download that overlay. It should be called most underrated effect. Basically just drag it and drop it in the middle on the video track in the middle of these two clips. Basically drag it and drop it, then you go with your cursor and go to the fusion tab. Go to medium one, press control space, write in dog back here. If it doesn't, if it doesn't pop up right away, just do it many times. Drag the reference on the black. If it doesn't work, just do it manually, drag to black. Press OK and go to video tab and it should be fully transparent like this. And what you're going to do now, you're going to basically just, yeah, make it short to zoom out and drag and make it so it ends on the short of impact. So where the effect disappears. And we're going to make a little fading. Press on the underlay again and go to the beginning. Go five frames to the right, so one, two, three, four, five. And what you're going to do, you're going to keep from the opposite, then you go to fast frame again, keep from the opposite and drag the opposite and it basically just make it so it fades in pretty quick. But that's basically it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please consider and drop a like and a sub. It really helps me out a lot. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.